going to get a chance to talk with him in a second. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm back, and it was so wonderful, wasn't it, to have beautiful mu music start the show in the morning. So we're very, very lucky that Debbie is here, Debbie Martsoff, and Mark Tuttle. Matt, Matt Tuttle. Matt Close Tuttle. Close <laughs> I changed his name overnight. <laughs> Hi, honey. Glad to Hello. have you here. Hello, Carol, my friend. And I know you got wonderful things to talk about this morning. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm here to um, advertise and invite everybody to come out to Unity of Fresno on Friday. Now, by the way, Friday is going to be like our hottest day of the week. Mm -hmm. So come on in. We have air conditioning and see this wonderful <laughs> movie that is called I Am. It's, it's Saturday at five o'clock and this is a movie um, that is was written and directed and narrated by Tom Shadyak. Tom Shadyak was the person that was the producer of movies such as Liar Liar with Jim Carrey and uh, Ace Ventura and then he had a um, some kind of a, an event in his life that was an accident that taught him many things about life and um, so we're going to watch this movie together, and it's a very inspiring movie, it's, and it uh, talks about how his life was changed with the accident that he had experienced and what he went through. Fantastic. I, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. I've heard about that movie before, and I've never had a chance to go and see it, so mm -hmm. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, and um, we're going to start off with half an hour of live music mm -hmm. with the Unity Musicians um, featuring Matt Tuttle who's right here, <laughs> and, and he's going to be playing saxophone, he's fab fabulous, and we have Mark Maddox on guitar, Alex Volishin on the drums, um, I'll be playing the keys and the guitar, 
And we have Lon Kafton doing a couple of lead songs, uh, singing them, and then we have some backup vocals. So it's going to be great. We have half an hour of music from 5 to 5.30. Then we watch the movie. We do have some door prizes. And then we are going to go into the fellowship hall afterwards for some goodies and snacks. So please come and join us and get out of the heat. What an evening. That's really yes. fantastic. And how much does this cost? It's free. Well, actually, it's, <laughs> it's a fundraiser for Unity. So free means whatever you would like to donate. That sounds fantastic. We, we call it a love donation. A love donation. Love well, donation. I, I'm sure that if people come and love it, they're going to want to give a nice donation That's to right. Unity because it, it's so good to have a place like Unity where you can really be with people who have the same feelings that you have and are spiritual people and, mm -hmm. and talented people. And we also have yoga at Unity. I should mention that. We have yoga classes, which I um, facilitate. And we have, so we have yoga four times a week. We have yoga in the daytime on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 12.15. And we have the, the yoga for 45 minutes from 12.15 to 1 o'clock, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And then um, that's followed by a 40-minute uh, meditation time which mm -hmm. which is kind of a it's half you know silent and half guided so you are guiding ourselves through the chakras as we're balancing and cleansing the chakras so it's not just 40 minutes of straight silence and so that makes it a little bit easier to to do as you're learning to meditate and focus and still your mind and uh, we also do it on Wednesday night and Wednesday night meditation yoga meditation starts at six o'clock so the uh, yoga is from 6 to 6.45 in the evening, and then we do the 40-minute meditation after that on Wednesday nights for people that want to come on the evening. That's fabulous, and what you have told me before about it is a person my age, there are things, that the things that they can do in the yoga that are not going to hurt them, but will gently help them. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes, this is a very <laughs> gentle yoga. So it's not something that... Um, you're going to hurt yourself. As in all yoga classes, you want to modify anything that you feel that isn't for you. So you can always make things easier. Or just if you think something is not right for you, any pose that doesn't feel right, just don't do it. Or you can modify it. But this is a very gentle yoga. So it's not what you would call a hard or difficult class. This is a beginning or gen gentle yoga. Oh, so. that sounds so fantastic. Thank you now for pointing I, that out. <laughs> what I want to do and make sure that you give them... How do they get to Unity? What's the address and how do they right. get there? Right. Good point. So Unity is 315 West Shields. Now, it's um, on the south side of the street on Shields, and it's very close to fruit. It's in between fruit and palm, very close to fruit. Not on the corner, but close. So 315 West Shields. Okay. So everybody's going to be there at 5 o'clock. Five o'clock Saturday, night. Saturday. Yes, it'll okay. be a, a fun time. Lots of good music. Matt's going to be there playing the saxophone. Yes, thank and, you. And Matt, I was yeah. so glad you came oh, today. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it very much. I hope uh, you come more often. Oh, both yeah, both well, you and yeah, the, uh, all the musicians that are good musicians. We're so yeah. thrilled to have you on. Thank you. Well, thank you okay. So much. <laughs> now, thank you so much, and and uh, mm -hmm. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back. Hi. Guess what? I goofed. Uh, Debbie had something that would really make you in more interested in that movie that she'd like to read quickly. Thank you for her. So here's a story, a true story to show just what we've become. Once there was a native tribe that lived in peace and harmony for thousands of years. And every day the routine was the same. Hunters would go out from the tribe and when they returned, the bounty was shared equally by all members of the tribe. No one went hungry. Food was available. And not even when the weak and the sick and the elderly um, were needed food, there was always food. It was considered a mental illness, in fact, if one person um, was denied any of the bounty. One day, the most skilled hunter said, I'm the best hunter. I kill more than my share of deer. Why should I share the bounty of my hunt? And from that day forward, he began storing his meat on a high mountain cave. 
And then the other skilled hunters says, said, well, we kill more of our share too. Shouldn't we have the right to keep the bounty of our hunt? And they too began to store their meat in high mountain caves. And then something began to happen in the tribe that had never happened before. Some people, especially the weak, the old, and the sick, began to go hungry, while others were well fed. In fact, it became so commonplace that no one even thought it unusual that some were starving, while others had more than they needed. And what's even more strange, the tribal elders began to teach their young to emulate these hoarding habits of these few people. Now that story isn't true because it happened. It's true because it's happening. We are that tribe. I am that tribe. Nature is very clear on this. In fact, there's one fundamental law that all of nature obeys that mankind breaks every day. And this is a law that's evolved over billions of years. And the law is this. Nothing in nature takes more than it needs. And when it does, it becomes subject to this law and it dies off. An ocean, a rainforest, a human body are all cooperatives. A redwood tree doesn't take all the soil's nutrients, just what it needs to grow. A lion doesn't kill every gazelle, just one. We have a term for something in the body when it takes more than its share. We call it cancer. An American Indian was talking to a white man one day and said, we have a word for a kind of cannibalism. Not for one who eats the flesh of another, but for one who eats the life of another. The word is wetiko. It is considered a mental illness. And then he said to the white man, we very quickly realized when you people came from Europe that you were infected with it. So you see, in some native cultures, gross materialism is equated with insanity. Debbie, thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thank you thank so you. much. And we're going to have you back, okay? All right. Thank okay. you. See you at movie night at Unity at uh, 5 o'clock we'll Saturday. Be right back.